Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. Today we're going to be tapping into the next three weeks, which is basically, basically the last three weeks of 2021. So we're going to get into that, what we should keep in mind, what's coming, and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to have you do is pick a crystal. You're going to pick or pile number, you're gonna pick pile number one or the amethyst, pile number two or the blue appetite, pile number three or the shuling, shivalingam, or pile number four, the clear quartz. So this crystal looks like it's pretty active. <laughs> um, go ahead and choose which one is inviting you in, which one draws you in, and yeah, let's get into what the rest of the year, these next three weeks, have in store for you. For everybody that picked pile number one or the amethyst crystal, let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what came up. So the first cards that I'm gonna pull out here are the ones that I pulled from tarot. Okay, so we have here the ace of wands. Okay, then we have right underneath it the seven of wands, lots of wand energy, and then we have the hierophant. Okay, let's get into this. So there seems to be, the next three weeks are gonna hold like some kind of a Kundalini type of an awakening. When that happens, sometimes it can be a little bit uncomfortable because the things that come up, the things that build up to the surface and come out are things that just need to be released. And sometimes it happens in an uncomfortable way because you won't allow it to happen. So the universe will take over you know, your own subconscious, your own spirit will take over, your spirit guides will take over because you need to get out of this situation. You need to get out of this rut. And the Ace of Wands comes with this burst of energy to do that. Now the Hierophant here, it's interesting that the Hierophant comes up. I'm looking for my little tarot book. I don't know where I put it. Okay, hold on one second, you guys. Let me grab it. Okay. I like to keep my little tarot book because I don't want to miss out on any messages that come up for you. But the Hierophant I do know is very Taurus energy. So the next few weeks you may notice yourself in a Taurus-like energy where you are kind of stubborn with your ideas and you, you're going to kind of bask in the luxuries of life. You like the finer things. You want to kind of spoil yourself. And your five senses five senses will be heightened. Uh, that's a lot of that Hierophant energy. And then we also have the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands is also a burst of energy coming in. So the next few weeks, just keep that in mind. If you get a burst of energy, don't get like overwhelmed or don't burn yourself out. Like take a rest sometimes too with the Seven of Wands. It's gonna be a lot of just busy, and, you know, moving around. Um, and a lot of you may be very sharp with your tongue the next few weeks. So keep that in mind. The wand's energy, um, it's very aggressive. It's very Mars and very fiery and masculine. So keep that in mind. You may, you know, blurt things out that you... Maybe you don't, you don't mean and stuff like that. So mind your tongue. There's a lot of power in our tongue and our words that we speak. So, you know, the next few weeks, just keep that in mind. Your words can hurt other people's feelings. That's a message of the seven of wands here. Um, hmm. Let's get into the oracle messages that come up for you. There's a few. So I picked a few that uh, have to do with like love, self-care, and possibly like an element or herb that you could work with. So let's go with this. This is an oracle card from the Ocean of Whispers. Whispers of the Ocean uh, deck, if anybody's interested. But the message that comes up for you is you're where you need to be. So acknowledge how you're feeling. Have faith that the universe will take care of a current concerned by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. So, okay, so 
the next few weeks, try not to like overstress yourself because everything that happens the next few weeks is exactly how things are supposed to be playing out. So keep that in mind. Um, the Hierophant brings a lot of wisdom here. So I do feel like there's going to be a lot of things you're going to be learning in the next few in the next three weeks basically so either that means you know you may take a like a quick three-week course or some kind of study um you may be picking up a book i see a lot of you studying or learning something or reading a lot um within the next three weeks you're also being called to use a lot of positive affirmations so mind your tongue when it comes to yourself too. How are you speaking to yourself? And how are you, you know, treating your own heart chakra? Are you neglecting it? Are you listening to it? Are you nurturing it and all that stuff? So those are some things that may be coming to play in the next three weeks is heart chakra work, opening up to receiving love, um, and just being okay with where you are. That's a big thing I think uh, is going to be a lesson in the next few weeks is you just realizing you're perfectly fine where you are and everything happens in divine timing. And when the timing is right for you, according to everything, you know, according to the spirit world, the physical world, everything, it just, everything happens in its own time. And I feel like you finally uh, let yourself relax to that so the next card the next two cards that came up for you are from the love deck i think this is called the whispers of love i know a lot of you ask in the comments but this card right here is consider your foundation so look at how committed you are to love okay um and then the next card that comes up is simple acts of kindness so kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Okay, the next few weeks, again, like it's talking about mind your tongue and be kind because your words can hurt people's feelings and you are getting this sudden burst of energy where you just, you don't, you just want to blurt things out how you feel. And that, you know, you got to keep in mind sometimes it can hurt people's feelings. Now, consider your foundation. So look at how you, um commit to love here i feel like a lot of you are going to be paying a lot of attention in your domestic life your home in like the commitments you have to your home to the people inside your home and like your relationships inside your home those are going to be very important in the next three weeks and you may be spending a lot of time inside uh and kind of just making your environment and your foundation yours. Maybe some reconstruction, maybe some redecorating, something like that going on. Uh, and then the last card that comes up for you is the tangerine card. So this, this is fun. <laughs> Be spontaneous and have fun. So invite more tangerine colors, more orange colors, maybe uh, incorporate more tangerine in your diet or something. Um, because this citrusy things bring a lot of fun and spontaneous energy. It's very uplifting. Um, it's used to just invite a lot of happiness. Corresponds with the sun energy. Just cheers and lifts up the mood, brightens things up. So work with tangerine, work with orange colors, maybe get some orange bed sheets, maybe get some orange decorations or however you want to work with it. Um, for the next three weeks, it would it just would spice up your life and make things fun. So get creative with tangerine. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was the amethyst crystal that you guys chose. Amethyst is all about the mind. So a lot of you, I think, are going to be letting go of some unhealthy addictions here. And if you have an amethyst crystal, keep it with you because it was used to make sure that people didn't get drunk back in the day. <laughs> it was... It, it was infused into the goblets, um, so that's interesting. But this is something that keeps your mind clear and sober and just organized and just helps you clear your mind. It's a crystal for the mind. So a lot of you are going to be, you know, 
reorganizing, redoing your mind. And that's where the Hierophant comes in. It's the wisdom of your mind. And that's where the Amethyst is connected to you. So I would suggest if you, if you get yourself a Christmas gift, I would get something of Amethyst for yourself. Like treat yourself. Uh, but that's your reading. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Okay, pile number two, or everybody that picked the Blue Appetite Crystal. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. So I did pick some tarot cards and some oracle messages. Okay, let's see. The first card that comes up is a chariot. There's movement. Lots of movement happening in the next three weeks for you. We have the Five of Cups here. Okay, so let's see. I, I took this huge sigh, this breath, because I feel like you guys are releasing something pretty big that was just weighing in on all of your full cups. So there might have been like two empty cups that you had in your life um, that you were focusing so heavy on and it was creating stagnation and blocks, fears, and everything. Just, it, there was no forward movement here in a specific situation. And with the Empress, I do feel like that was meant to be. It, it had to be like that because there, were, there had to be a growth of something. There had to be some kind of growth. The Empress is growth. And so there had to be some kind of growth of something in order for this to move forward. And... Within the next three weeks, you're going to start to see it happening and moving pretty fast. Now, I do want to get into my little book so I don't miss out on any messages that need to come to you, which I am working on a little book for you guys, a little tarot book. Um, this is like my own notes of everything I've learned and researched, and sometimes I refer to it, and I've been referring to it more and more because I, I don't know, I'm so drawn to it. So, Five of Cups here. Okay, a lot of you have been focused on some type of a regret. A lot of you may have been in uh, grieving stages. Okay, um, and I see why the chariot comes up because grieving, grieving can weigh really heavy on your heart and sometimes you don't even realize the ways it affects you and it affects your body. And you don't just grieve, you know, for death. There's also things you grieve over, like a loss of relationship, or maybe a breakup, or, uh, you know, um, maybe a losing a house, or something like that. There's, you know, different types of grieving. And so I feel like you are kind of getting the wheels turning again in the next three weeks before 2022 hits. Um, you come out of this rut type of grief stuck stagnation area of your life for those of you that are grieving and then okay so let's head into i do want to pull the empress from the book okay there's a lot of venus energy that is going to be um prevalent in your life so that means you may feel drawn to Things that make your life feel beautiful. Things that make you feel beautiful. Just beauty all around you. You may stop and notice things more. You know, um, you get to notice the little, little things that make you happy. And that's very exciting. I love that for you. So Venus energy is going to be really amazing for you the next three weeks. And also on Fridays, specifically, if you wear reds or pinks or you work with red or pink colors, it will benefit you a lot. Um, okay, so a lot of you, the next three weeks is going to be very productive. And there's going to be a very natural growth of something. So let it happen. Okay, whatever you feel like is just growing very naturally, let it happen. Now, it also foretells of very happy, stable relationships. So the next three weeks, keep that in mind. Um, you'll get to experience what those relationships are and you get to see who those relationships are. And this is a, um, this is a card where 
it's asking you to bring out your more nurturing side because a lot of you what whatever you grieved for may have made you a little cold and so the next three weeks are asking you and probably even shifting you to a more nurturing side of yourself tapping into that venus energy that very soft feminine um motherly energy so i i think that's really good for you now the chariot right the chariot is that maybe in the past you have been feeling like you were pulled in different directions you had this need to be free but then you also wanted stability and comfort right um and the chariot asks you to speak up so in the next three weeks you may find yourself speaking up a lot more and um, it'll be in your favor. It'll be in your benefit. You know, the next three weeks are going to be teaching you how to maintain your independence in a lot of the relationships in your life. So keep that in mind too. You're going to be nurturing them, but also creating boundaries and, you know, maintaining your independence throughout these relationships. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out these oracle cards that came out for you. I pulled a few. So first one that comes out for you is in the light of the moon. A full moon can shine light on when you, what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. So yeah, the chariot kind of comes to push you forward and push you out of your fear but the empress comes to do it in such a nurturing way and the five of cups helps you to just really let the past go and those empty cups they don't need to be in the forefront of your brain anymore i also see a uh, full moon this full moon is going to be december 18th i have the video coming up very very soon but this full moon is going to be a big one for you it's a full moon in gemini i see all these gemini colors and symbolisms this is going to be a big one for you it's going to affect you a lot you also pick the blue stone okay this is this is going to be a really really good moon for you and you're going to notice a lot of positive changes maybe like sudden rapid changes but positive changes in your life within this full moon time. Now the next card that comes up is to clean your space. So a lot of you are being called to clean. Before, like the next three weeks, clean up your space before this new year comes. This new blank canvas of a year. You are being asked to cleanse and clean out your space. So anything you've been hoarding, any garbage, any trash, any thing you don't use anymore or that you know has collected dust and stuff you want to get rid of it and um this is how you're being asked to welcome in the new year because the number nine in numerology it's and also in tarot it's the it's like some the ending of something right a new cycle of something um so you want to take that oldness away because you're about to invite this new cycle this new year and you want to take all that old dusty nasty away so throw it out reorganize it redeck get it get it ready get your environment ready for the new year and i feel like it will your environment is going to help you a lot in your mental health you know then the next card that comes up is from the Whispers of Love. So physical touch. Okay, a tender touch can mean so much. Okay, so a lot of you, I feel like, um, okay, there's two different messages I'm getting from this card. A lot of you, your love language is touch. If you don't know, the, there's love languages that everybody has. You know, there's touch. Some people like being given gifts. Some people like the different uh, languages of love. And touch may be something that you are in need of, physical touch. And so it might be something that you want to journal about or explore or think about or talk about. Maybe you talk to a therapist about it, maybe um, a spiritual advisor or something. And then for a lot of you, I feel like you're within the next few three weeks touch is going to be something that you explore a lot more sexually maybe um and for a lot of you i do see that there's there might have been some trauma 
where you did not like physical touch and physical touch bothered you or you didn't understand uh, your own reactions to physical touch, you know? So a lot of those things may be coming into play. You may be exploring those, which by the way, if you are interested in more of those kinds of topics, I do have an OnlyFans where I talk about more like openly over there, these kinds of things. And so I have the link down below if you're interested. But yes, I, a lot of you can be exploring physical touch, you know, whether that be in the past that you were uncomfortable with it and then this next three weeks, it's this brand new type of sensual energy that you tap into where you invite physical touch, you know, safe, healthy manner. Or for a lot of you, you, you feared it. Or for a lot of you, maybe you had trauma that wouldn't let you experience it in the way that you wanted to. Physical touch is a big thing in the next few weeks. Um, and however that however you explore it or however that pertains to you it's a collective reading so it's different for a lot of you guys so if if you're comfortable come back in the comments and let me know i'm really interested to hear about that so the last card that comes up for you guys is this element card i wanted to pick an element that you could work with for the next three weeks which is lilac strengthening your faith and in this case that's exactly what's happening. It's you're building a more stable foundation inside yourself where you trust yourself because when you can do that, it just becomes a lot easier <laughs> to navigate your life. So what I want you to do is work more with lilac colors, lilac flowers, lilac scent. You could get candles. You can work with lilac or purple even colors. You could get lilac perfume. You could gift yourself a lilac perfume for Christmas. Um, or you could get, you know, purple or lilac colored bed sheets. But work with this color for the next three weeks because look at your reading. Look at the colors in your reading. There's so much blues and purples and greens. And you're just being called to work with those colors. And Gemini full moon is coming up. And those are colors that you know, I feel like Gemini represents a lot, very soft and subtle, imaginative colors. Um, and your creativity and your imagination will be active around the next three weeks. And that's why you pick this blue appetite. This is one of the first crystals I've ever gotten. And I still have it. I got it years and years ago. And it was, I got it specifically when I started YouTube and I wanted something to always keep me creative. And, and my mind active and my mind just keep creating fun things and fun ideas and concepts and all that stuff. And I use this crystal ever since. So I feel like you're going to be tapping into that. And also, like, buy yourself a blue appetite. <laughs> crystal, jewelry, whatever, right? You were drawn to that crystal for a specific reason. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Okay, everybody that picked pile number three or the Shiling, how I like to call it, or the Shiva Lingam stone, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So I picked some tarot cards and some oracle cards, but I'm going to get into the tarot first. So I'm interested to see what comes up here. Let me know if this is uh, good lighting. Do you want it a little bit more brighter? Let me know in the comment section, okay? Um... We have the Seven of Pentacles, and then we have the Sun. The next three weeks look really good for you because the Sun, every time this card pops up, it just brightens things up, okay? It uplifts the energy. It brings so much cheer and warmth and good memories and just good food and good fun. It's a really, really good card, and it just makes you feel excited. It's And here's another thing that I would recommend for you guys, pile number three. The Sun is the Shiva Lingam energy, it's the masculine, okay? And then the moon is the feminine. Lots of masculine energy here. You guys are going to be very active, fiery, okay? Very in the mentality of you just want to get things done. You're very driven. You're very ambitious the next few weeks. Seven of Pentacles is extra ambitious over here. So make sure you don't overdo it. A lot of you may be very much into your masculine energy where you're just on the go, on the go, on the go. And so don't burn yourself out over here. 
Um, the Seven of Pentacles also, when this card comes up, it's an omen of you accomplishing something. So within the next three weeks, you're accomplishing something. And then you're going to sit and think to yourself, now what? What's next? So keep that in mind the next three weeks. Okay, you're going to find yourself sitting down and be like, okay, I, I accomplished this. I manifested this. Now what? Now what is next? I feel like it's a little dark. Are you guys okay with this lighting situation? It's, I usually use, um, what is it called? Natural lighting. It, I just feel like it's so gloomy today. Let me know, okay? And then, okay, let's get back into the Seven of Pentacles energy. Seven energy is also, you're so much in your head, so much in your imagination, you get distracted so easily. So the next few weeks, you may find yourself, and it's such a masculine energy too, to find yourself distracted because you want to get your hands in everything and you want to make sure everything is good and okay. You get into that provider type of a mentality, very protective type of mentality. Um, and then also like a lot of stamina here. Uh, also sexual energy, sexually, lots of stamina. You know, you may be finding yourself extra aroused and stuff. You know, I can't really explicitly say those things here on YouTube, but I talk a lot more on these topics on my OF and I will have the link down below if you're interested. But we talk more openly over there about sexual topics. But here I feel there's a lot of sexual energy coming in and it's a growth of something. Also, a lot of you, be careful because you may get pregnant really, really quickly. Okay, so use protection if you're not trying to get pregnant because it can happen pretty fast in the next three weeks, okay? Now, the, no the next week next few cards i'm like stuttering over my own words you guys the next few cards are let me zoom you out a little bit okay we'll put these two up here and the next few cards are going to be oracle cards so let me turn on the light i just feel like it's a little dark so hopefully there you go isn't that better there you go that's so much better okay so Amble with contentment. So waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. Okay, so as ambitious and inspired and driven as you get in this next um, three weeks, try not to act impulsively. Try not to just get an idea and just take a risk and act on it. Don't do that. Because this is something that needs to be researched and grown. Seven of Pentacles means you got to grow it. Um, yeah, so don't do that. Don't brush into anything. Look at all the greenery here, okay? That grows naturally. You got to let something grow. Don't rush into anything the next few weeks. And then we have the next card that I pulled is a self-care like assignment that I like to pull. And meditate. Okay, very interesting you guys got this card because you're going to need to meditate the next few weeks. You're going to be so driven, so much energy. It's just high vibe, like high energy, very fiery. You just want to go, go, go. And it's going to make you want to just do things right now and just want, if you want something, you want it right now and all of that stuff. So well, how do you meditate, you know? Um, this morning was the first time I did a mirror meditation and I loved it. I'm going to be um, actually uploading something about that on Patreon if you're interested. But it was such a beautiful form of meditation to just look at yourself in the mirror. You know, how often do you do that and how long do you do it for? And what are the thoughts you have when you do look into your own eyes? You know, there's so much that comes up when you look into your own eyes. Um, I watched this video when I was younger, or not video, movie my favorite movie ever, which is The Crow with Brandon Lee. And in that movie, there's a lady that says something like how your eyes are the windows to your soul. And so do you ever peek through those windows and take a look <laughs> at your own soul? I feel like that was very powerful for me. And so that was a form of meditation for me. What is a form of meditation for you? You know, that calms down this very overtly masculine energy. 
it could be anything. It could be you, you know, just sitting down and watching a movie just to calm your mind. It could be doing something to relax yourself, taking a bath. It could be um, getting outside in nature and just sitting there and listening to the wind and the trees. What is your form of meditation? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know actually what is your form of meditation. I shared with you mine that I did this morning. I'd love to know yours or what you plan on doing. And then maybe you can get an idea off someone else's you know form of meditation. Now, the next card that I pulled was an oracle card for love. I think this is a Whispers of Love oracle deck. I know a lot of you guys ask, so. The card says relationship patterns so it takes strength to recognize the need for change okay so i feel like there's going to be change happening in your relationship dynamic but it's in the positive it's very positive and here's the thing this change is it goes two different ways just because of this meditation card i get this feminine energy uh so the shivaling, the shivaling of crystal right here is very masculine. It's Shiva's stone. It's masculine. It represents the phallus, the penis. And so here, if you guys have been way too much in your masculine, um, this next few weeks is going to transition that energy to teach you to be a little bit more in your feminine energy, to relax a little bit more, to nurture your body, to be a little bit more creative than just so driven and it's going to be a change for you but in a very good way and it's going to change your relationship dynamic because it's going to help you have a lot more open conversations and understand and be a little bit more compassionate and compassionate and empathetic things that you wouldn't necessarily feel otherwise because you know sometimes when you're so ambitious and so driven and someone come presents their feelings to you sometimes you're so like you know like well I'm so busy like why you're complaining about that meanwhile I'm over here so busy if you hear that that is my cat <laughs> let me let her in so I can finish this reading but like as you can see sometimes relationship patterns change and do you hear her purring? That's such a good sign for you guys. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. I did actually, I took a few photos this morning with my cats and I wanted to do a post about the frequency of cat purr. You know, that's so interesting that she walked in and did that. And then you have the sun card. Very high frequency in the next three weeks. Like if you notice yourself, you guys are going to be manifesting a lot. Watch your thoughts, listen to your thoughts and make sure that they're... They're good thoughts because look at that, okay? You guys are very uh, connected with the sun. We had a previous reading in this entire reading um, where it's all moon energy, complete moon energy. This is just complete sun energy. Work with the sun. Spend, you know, if you do get sunlight, uh, I know it's winter time, but if you can spend time in the sun. If you hear that, that is my cat. Get, like I feel like that's a message right there. Let it out, right? Let it out. <laughs> She's scratching on her little scratcher. But the last card that came up for you. Oh, also, I want you guys to pay attention to your relationship patterns because they may be changing, but in a way that brings the relationship a lot of happiness. And for a lot of you, this may go into if you need a lot of you need to balance your masculine and feminine energy. So this is a collective reading. So I'm going to say that for some of you, you're, you're going to be uh, experiencing a lot more of yourself being more masculine because that's what you needed. For a lot of you, you're going to experience yourself being more in your feminine energy because that's what you needed. So that's two different things. So just keep that in mind. But I would also highly recommend that you guys keep something of the sun in your home, like a painting or this tarot card sun, like blow it up and put it on your wall or something and just notice the difference and then come back and tell me in the comments, okay? Because the sun invites so much cheer 
And then look at this last card that I pulled for you, which is Amber. So I wanted to pull an uh, element card for you. And Amber is very lucky. I actually just got my hands on some Amber. I'm so excited that it is in my house right now. I love Amber so much. It is the luckiest thing I've ever worked with besides Labradorite crystals. I swear this is like one of the most luckiest things you could touch. And if you get your hands on Amber, get it. Within the next few weeks, this Amber card is telling me there's a lot of luck coming. I'm gonna let my cat out real quick. <laughs> there's a lot of luck coming and I feel like you find, look, my cat, for her to come in, I always take it as a message. I take everything as a message because when we're doing readings, we're opening up a portal. So for her to come in, she explored, she did what she needed to, she let out her scratchy thing and then she left. She, like very independent, does her own thing, whatever she needs to do and then she is very independent and then goes on about her way and she's happy and she's content. And that's a huge energy I see for you guys in the next three weeks. With this amber too, lots of luck. Lots of luck. Um, awaken your creativity. Look, if you get an idea, write it down. Explore it. Research it, okay? If you, you dream about something, write it down. Your subconscious and your mind is going to be very awake. So keep that in mind for the next three weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Okay, for everybody that picked pile number four or the clear quartz crystal, let's get into your reading. I picked a few cards from tarot and a few cards from oracle. So let's go ahead and see what the next three weeks are gonna look like for you. The last three weeks of 2021. The high priestess and the two of pentacles. Okay, the first thought that popped up into my head for you guys is there's going to be some kind of reconciliation, some kind of a relationship here. Now that could be a romantic relationship. It could be a relationship like with you and your, I don't know, sister, your brother, your mom that may have fallen apart for a while, but I see that recommunication kind of coming back together. Maybe talk things out, maybe... Uh, Another thing is this full moon in Gemini opens up that communication. And for you guys, I feel like it may amplify. Clear quartz energies amplify, okay? Clear quartz amplifies anything that you put it near spiritually. So, hmm, lots going on here. Um, the two of pentacles is what made me feel like there is this harmony coming, this reconciliation. And this reconciliation is here in this physical form. It's like, it's some kind of materialistic uh, reconciliation where I feel like there's there's physical touch involved where you hug it out or you shake it out or you know you, you speak it out to each other. There's this physical um, exchange between two people where you reconcile something. So... That's something that you can look forward to within the next three weeks. Now, the Two of Pentacles also asks you to keep your options open and to keep your eyes on your goal, but to keep the options open and to use skillful manipulation because that's what is going to achieve you success in a specific situation. And the High Priestess is amazing at that because she's charming and alluring Wow, okay. The Two of Pentacles asks you to keep moving, keeps your wheel keeps keep your wheels turning and moving. And that there's change coming, but definitely this change is for some kind of harmony that you need in your life. So the High Priestess also foretells of just balance and a lot of spiritual balance so balance in your head and your heart and your mind all of that stuff this is ethereal energy so ancestral energy can come in particularly female ancestors so your elders your um, passed away elders and ancestors and loved ones that were female now the high priestess also has a lot to do with moon energy and this um, Gemini full moon, I think 
is going to be very powerful for you guys because it's going to reveal some unseen potential that needed to be revealed and this two of pentacles just really gets everything turning when that's revealed to you and it's nothing bad it's something in your favor it's just potential pure potential in and whatever this is a collective reading so for some of you it could be pure potential in your love life pure potential that is unleashed in your career Wherever this is, it's just potential being unleashed. And for a lot of you, I highly recommend using pine cones or pine scented things. Or if you get a Christmas tree and you get a real one, okay, that's very good right now around the next three weeks for you. It's very lucky to work with pine cones and pines and pine scent and all of that. Very, very lucky, okay? Also, the high priestess represents virginity so i don't know how that would pertain because this is a collective reading um so you may be like revisiting the time when you lost your virginity maybe thinking about it and maybe like i don't know there's just a lot of just innocent sexual innocence and sexual and like your feminine energy coming into play and you being a little bit more sensual, more intimate. I, I just see a lot of you tapping into your moon energy when it comes to sexuality and sensuality around the next few weeks. You want a little bit more softer touch. You want a little bit more, you know, just softness and intimacy and stuff like that. So don't be surprised if you find yourself wanting that a little bit more. And that's where the two of pentacles comes in. An even exchange of energy, whether that be an even exchange of energy in conversation, an even exchange of energy in intimacy, in relationship, in your career. It, there just needs to be an even give and take. Otherwise, you're just going to burn yourself out if you keep giving, right? Okay, I did pull a few more cards but they're from oracle decks so let's go ahead and get into those messages for you so the first one that comes up is connect to source so go within to discover what needs to be done create the shift required to attract what you want spirituality is going to be a big thing a lot of you oh okay a lot of you there's going to be something having to do with your hair in the next three weeks so either you're going to get a nice haircut or you're going to be growing your hair out long. There's something with hair, like a change of color, change of style or something. Hair is going to be something, keep your mind on it because you may be like really drawn or excited or motivated to do a new style, a new color or something. Um, and also look into hair magic. I have, I think, a few videos on my channel where I talk about hair magic. You can look those up and try hair magic this full moon. Um, and then the next card that comes up for you is sing. Your voice has a lot of power. Your tongue has a lot of power and it can hurt. It can curse. It can love. It can solve. It can heal. It can do a lot. So this card right here reminds me of your voice and the power of your voice. For a lot of you, if you love to sing, sing more. For a lot of you, if you are singers, then put put more of your heart into your craft, I feel like. You know, don't worry so much about what other people are going to think. And look at this, look at her hair. There's such a message here about hair, okay? To how that's going to affect you, I don't know because it's not a personal reading. But definitely something about hair is going to be coming into play the next few weeks. Um, and also like, don't be afraid to just sing and let out and talk, speak your mind and stuff like that, but also do it in a nice, kind way. Don't be so aggressive with your words. And the next card that comes up is actually from the love deck, the whispers of love, I think. And this is the union of hearts. So a love connection that defies explanation. A lot of you, I feel like this energy, okay, so whether in a relationship or you're not, if you're not in a relationship, for a lot of you, something might be coming in where it's just a, a relationship that just defies explanation. It's a very instant attraction, chemistry right off the bat. Um, 
with this two of pentacles, okay, relationship is a big thing next three weeks. And for some of you, it's something that's coming in. And I, the cards are asking you to be a little bit more sensual and be a little bit more softer and just um, speak about your spirituality more. Let your spirituality be known because it's a huge part of yourself. For a lot of you, I feel like if you're already in a relationship, there's going to be a lot of things coming into play here where you understand that this is a connection that needs to be held onto and not let go. I feel like for a lot of you, you've been having thoughts of just releasing and letting go of this relationship, but there's a reason that you didn't. And that gets amplified here. So two of pentacles is this is going to be working out. High priestess, look at her hair. This is gonna be working out somehow, balancing opposites balance balancing okay and the last card that comes out for you guys is the element card so i pulled this from element deck and it's the red card free yourself from pain and the number two come on this is domestic partnership bliss collaboration like two parties coming together two ideas coming together mending merging of you know it's just reconciliation that kind of energy coming in really strong and being amplified here um and free yourself from pain so this entire next th three weeks right i want you guys to work with music a lot okay and i want you guys to work a lot with your hair um and then red the color red so you could get red bed sheets red clothes um, red candles, red roses, however you want to work with the color red. Uh, I actually have these, I, I'm not sure if they're still up in my shop, but these are little candles that you could burn to send negative energy away. These are red candles with four cloves in them. Um, you know, however you want to work with the colors red, it will favor you and benefit you. Also your root chakra, which is, you know, your home and your stability and your um how stable and safe you feel in your environment your relationships all that stuff is going to come into play in the next three weeks where you know those things will be resolved i feel there's a, there's a resolution because two of pentacles is about resolution in the physical world all right that was your reading work with clear quartz crystals but also make sure that you cleanse it very, very often because these absorb a lot of energy. So they will absorb your negativity, your worries, frustrations, all of that stuff. But you also want to make sure you cleanse it very, very, very often. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very, very soon.